I am Robin Raindrop Catcher and I'm grateful to be gay. And here's why. A couple of weeks ago, I walked down a street in Vienna wearing trousers that you don't see very often on the streets of Vienna. It was one of those, it was a red-orange one. And you see them on festival areas. Like, there are a lot of guys as well who wear, wear them on festivals. But you hardly ever see these people wearing them in the streets. And I was wondering, why is nobody wearing them? And why do I wear it? So I tried to think about it. So how did I get the courage to wear what I want to wear, to do what I want to do, to stand up to people who tell me that I can't sleep until the middle of the day, although I was working until the middle of the night, or actually in the morning. I know that I'm one of the 25% of people who actually get sick if they if they get up earlier and the more I thought about it the more I realized that you really have to look at yourself to get some confidence after time to realize who you actually are and then I saw that this happened for me 10 years ago pretty much exactly 10 years ago when I was 15 and when I had my coming out realizing that you're gay forces you to actually think about yourself and think about your situation and who you are and actually tell it to other people as well. If you have a lot of confidence, you probably had a time like this in your life. It doesn't have to be a coming out, but in my case, it just came naturally, you know. Back then, it wasn't always easy and it was definitely hard to, to tell my family at first. Now looking back at it, I'm not sure even why it was hard. And like now it's the most normal thing to me. Everybody these days seems to want to be different or special. And at the same time, if you look on the streets, people all look pretty much the same because they're all wearing the same clothes because they're in right now. And a lot of them do pretty much the same stuff every day. And a lot of people go to the job that they hate. So I think that's one of the reasons how I got this confidence. Just that I had a time in my life where I had to think about myself and think who I am. And I think if you had that one time, you do it your entire life. So yes, um, maybe not proud, because I don't think you can be proud of it. Because you can't be proud of something you didn't do, but that you ch simply are. You just happen to be that. Uh, you can be proud though to have found out about it and to deal with it every single day but maybe not proud but that's the reason why I'm grateful for being gay because it opened up an entire new world for me and it, it made me see who I am and made me start to look at myself so I know that there are a lot of people out there who go through pretty similar things that I went through when I was 15 and I know that it's not easy and it, you know it doesn't have to be easy either because that's the point because it is not easy because it makes your life more complicated for some time it makes your life much better in the long run and maybe even in the beginning I don't know <laughs> it's different for everybody but I can just tell you things get better even if they're complicated right now so stay with yourself be yourself and don't let anybody else get you down just for being who you are. I'm Robin Raindrop Catcher and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and all that jazz and maybe even subscribe to my newsletter to the drizzle list on my website. Until then, have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Ouch. Hey, hey, hey.